Now that ZoomPhone's been added to your account, you'll be able to see inside of the admin portal, phone system management. Click on setup, taking you to the first step of the process. Here you'll need to select the main company number. Type in your state, province, or territory. Select the city and the area code in which you'll be selecting the phone number. And then choose a number that you can assign as the main company number. Again, this can be changed later if you wish to do so after porting your numbers over. You can also change the extension of the number for the owner of the account. Uh, we can see as it defaults to 800 here, it can easily be changed anywhere between three and six digits. Confirm the actual company number that you've selected, and that'll take you to the emergency address page. It's very important that we ensure that this information is correct, because if you call emergency services, this is the information that'll be transferred to them. Select the address, city, state, zip, confirm that it's accurate, and accept the notification. Click done. And officially, the account is set up, and you'll see yourself as the owner imported as the first user. You can continue to import additional users, or along the left-hand side, you now see additional access to information that will allow you to configure the phone system. You can create auto receptionist or an IVR. You can create call queues, also known as hunt groups. You can view and create shared lines or delegates, have access to the phone numbers that can be added on the system or begin the porting process, add and manage phone and devices, view any call log or history reporting on the account, as well as view company info where you can make settings and create policy for users on the account.